This is the back supported chest fly to target the middle region of the chest in both that lengthened and shortened position. For this exercise, you can use a chest fly machine like this if you have access to one, or a much more common setup would be the use of dual cable towers and an adjustable bench like this. Nevertheless, execution of the movement is exactly the same. For the setup, first adjust the height of the handles so that they are level with the middle of the chest and place the bench in front of that cable tower so that you're able to achieve a full range of motion without hitting the weights against each other and just enough forward so you don't have to reach far behind you to get into that starting position. If you're using the machine setup like I'm doing right here and feel limited with the range of motion, you could roll up a mat and place it behind you to get a more complete range of motion. So to get in a starting position on both of these, grab each handle one at a time, bring them together, and then extend the arms in front of the body. To initiate that way back, think like you are pushing those elbows apart and as if you're trying to push those hands a little bit towards the center. Make sure your elbows are pointed back and not pointing down. And you also notice that my elbow makes contact with the cable as I lead with the elbows out to the side as I go back. And you should also get a good amount of elbow bend to get a better stretch in the chest and while minimizing a strain on the shoulder. Shoot for a four to five second eccentric on that way back. It should feel super slow and try to get a pause at the back when that chest is stretched to really hit that chest in that length of position. Also on the way back, think like you are slightly pushing the chest upwards towards the ceiling to get a better stretch on the chest and minimize strain on the shoulder. And just like you would for a dumbbell or barbell bench press, make sure you have a decent arch in the back to be able to squeeze those shoulder blades better towards each other and again minimize strain on the shoulder. On the concentric, as you press forward, think like you're pushing those elbows towards each other, trying to get the pinkies and knuckles to touch and pushing those hands forward and away from the body, almost completely extending the arm to get more tension in the shortened position of the pecs and shooting for a one to two second pause here at the front as well. Try to get this pause on every single reps. However, towards the end, it's all right if you can't get those hands to touch, but still try to get a pause as far as you can get those hands. Common mistakes you want to avoid is having those arms too straight on that way back. Remember, we want to get a good amount of bent at the elbow. Another mistake we want to avoid is not pushing those elbows towards each other enough, causing your arms to not be extended at the front, reducing the amount of shortening of the pec you'll be able to achieve. And lastly, avoid shrugging the shoulders as you go back like this. Keep that chest up, squeeze those shoulder blades towards each other, and slightly press those shoulders down as you go back. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like this video right now. Subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. See ya.